It is almost game day and we are getting our tailgate on here at Slice Pizza and Brew in Lakeview and I am with head chef Terrell Brazelton. Yep, that's right. There and we are cooking up something pretty awesome today. Yes. Kaneka corn dogs. That's right. Kaneka corn dogs. So tell me, why is this such a great uh, item for tailgating? Well, it's perfect for football season. Uh, we came up with it last year for the uh, Auburn LSU game um, for obvious reasons. It's kind of, you know. <laughs> you don't uh, want to state the obvious? Well, I mean, you know, it's they like corn dogs. It's a, there's a, I don't know, there's a joke in there somewhere with LSU. Okay, we'll dogs. leave it at we'll, that. Right. So, uh, it's a local product, one, which is always good to support your local, you know, local providers. Um, and it's darn tasty. It really is. Is this right? an easy dish to make? It is. It's fairly easy. You know, if you, the, the main thing is the, is the fryer. That would be the most difficult thing. If you don't have a deep fryer handy, you can use a cast iron skillet. You know, but anytime you're frying something, you want to be careful. So that would be the most difficult part. All of this right. Dish. Sounds good. Let's do it. We take the seeds out of those. Okay, so it won't be overly spicy. Exactly. If you, you can compensate, if you like it spicier, you can add that kind of stuff on the end. Okay. This is a local honey as well. Anything right. that has honey in the recipe is always my best friend. Yeah, well, there you go. Absolutely. We want a nice thick batter. Okay. Um, with this sausage and it being a homemade product, it hasn't been frozen, it's not gonna be coming like it's coming out of a package. So we wanna get it a little bit thicker so we make sure it sticks. Oh, that's looking nice. Now let me ask you, are you an Auburn fan or an Alabama fan? I am an Auburn fan. I graduated from Auburn High School, as a matter of fact, Auburn High School and Auburn University. And my mom taught at Auburn University. So I have been an Auburn fan since before I was born. Wow. Yeah. All right, the sausages are done. They've been in the fryer for, what, about five minutes? About five minutes, right. Um, 350 degrees. Okay. Um, that's why we cooked the sausage ahead of time, so we didn't have any risk of it not oh, being done. Yes. Um, so okay. it's a safe thing to do. And what we're gonna look for is visual uh, clues. We want it to be dark brown, or golden brown, uh, all the way around the, the, the dog, so we'll turn it while it's frying. Okay. And mostly what we're trying to do is make sure the batter gets cooked, because there's egg in the batter. In the so that's what we're looking for. Okay. So this is a, a mustard and hot sauce dish because it's a hot dog. You it's don't a hot do dog. ketchup on hot dogs. Yeah, you no, do mustard a, on hot dogs, right? Especially when you're doing jalapeno honey batter. That's right. You gotta compliment it well. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. It's been a while since we made these, so it's nice to have them back. Mm. Pretty good, huh? Mm. <laughs> now of course I'm not a big heat person, but having a little bit of that sriracha to go with it. Just a little bit. The jalapeno is kind of nice on the back end. The honey balanced out. The, yeah, that, that sriracha is dynamite. Of course, you can get the recipe here on AL.com. If you want to try this out yourself, impress your friends at their tailgate. We love it. Thank you again, Terrell, for Sorry, all your pleasure. help and your expertise. Oh, we appreciate pleasure. it. No problem.